Hello, uh, Reefus. I want to show you one other thing, and that is uh, how Alcatronic will regulate also the calcium reactor if we go uh, and DKH levels above the settled reference value. We have got a lot of questions and uh, we explain it in the user manual, but I will also very short demonstrate. I have both setups here just to demonstrate. I have the Alcatronic here, I have a belling station, and I have also a calcium reactor. Just to demonstrate and also test uh, every function. The belling station is uh, of course quite easy. It has its internal regulating dose scheme and uh, it's uh, quite accurate. But when uh, it is not perfect sometimes, maybe one times a day, the DKH a little too low and then the Alcatronic will uh, go in and uh, correct that by dosing these carbonates it go inside the machine and out and will dosing uh, in the tank. And the dosing amount is calculated based on the aquarium volume and some intelligent algorithm in the behind to do the correct dosage. But if the KH too high above your high reference value, you set two reference value. If it's above the high reference value, then we have the socket. And the socket is the white thing there. Now it is on. And, the socket, and uh, when the value is above, it will be powered off, and it will be powered off, the main supply to the uh, belling station will go off, and no further alkalinity or another or other uh, elements uh, in the belling system will be added, as long as you are above the high reference value. Here I also have the calcium reactor, as I said. And uh, if uh, we rely on the calcium reactor, you usually not have both system. Then you connect that socket from our from our machine to uh, the dosing to the feeding pump to the calcium reactor. So when we go above the high reference value, the feeding pump will stop, and no alkalinity will be added to the aquarium as long as we are above the high reference value. We are when we are back on road. The socket will turn on and the feeding pump to the calcium reactor will turn on and immediately start to add alkalinity again. The most con uh, common situation is not that we get too high alkalinity, it's maybe after water change or some very seldom um, uh, happening in the aquarium. The most common scenario will be that we have sometimes a little too low alkalinity. I think you recognize that from your own aquarium system. And then, as I said, the KH canister uh, are, besides it's of course connected to the belling station, it has also an extra hose to the Alcatronic. And the Alcatronic will fill in the missing day KH from time to time. If you have a system and when you in the history sees that Alcatronic very often uh, fill in with extra alkalinity, then you shall of course adjust the base uh, units, uh, the deuce station here, or uh, the calcium reactor and, uh, and increase the basing doses of course. The, alkalin, the Alcatronic is an overload and it helps you to fine adjust the levels and it prevents catastrophe. It uh, makes it impossible to KH to go too high or too low. Here we uh, have the last measure and it was 7.42 and that is okay the machine says because it's between my reference value. We have also uh, a third uh, um, variant to uh, control this, and it is, this is uh, through the B and C uh, cable. The B and C cable go up to the apex, and the apex also uh, get this information of 7.42. And you can, in the program, in the apex, do what you want with that figures. That is up to you. Thanks.